Hello and welcome to this video on Insight Vision Suite Validation. With the release of Insight Vision Suite 25.1, job and system validation are now available for spreadsheet jobs within Insight Vision Suite. Job and system validation are essential in many different industries, pharmaceutical, medical devices, automotive, and food and beverage, just to name a few. Insight Vision Suite 25.1 aims to help with items 11.10a through 11.10g by providing users the tools for job and system validation, audit trailing, and single sign-on user management. Job validation and system validation in ISVS are aimed at helping to solve 11.10a. Job validation ensures that the job is running as expected and is tested against a known set of conditions that should be reported. This is not only beneficial for 21 CFR Part 11 requirements, it also easily allows you to test during the development phase of any InSight Vision Suite job. System validation ensures that any changes to the system are flagged to maintain system integrity. Cognex delivers the tools in the camera so that you can validate the full system. Since the camera is used in a larger system and the camera itself cannot be compliant with 21 CFR Part 11, you are responsible for meeting compliance by checking the data, training of users, keeping records, establishing policies, and performing document control. In this video, we will focus on job validation. The purpose of job validation in Insight Vision Suite is to validate that the system is running as expected. To get started, let's open Insight Vision Suite. First, we will connect to our camera and upload our validation images to the camera. The images we use for validation need to have a variety of good and bad images. It is recommended to name your good or bad images appropriately. In the spreadsheet, any variable that you would like to validate needs to have a cell name. This is often referred to as a symbolic tag. This name should be descriptive yet brief to make it easy to know what it is associated with during the validation setup process. Make sure all variables you would like to use in the job validation have a name. Now we can click into the job validation tab. Once open, we can click on the gear to begin the validation process. Start by locating the validation images we uploaded to the camera. Next, we will create a variant. This allows us to define our validation settings for our parts. If the same job is meant to inspect multiple part styles or recipes, the variants allow us to create separate tests for each. Under the variant setup actions, we can input specific values for validation of each variable. Now we can select the images we want to test against. In the results test section, we can select variables that were set up in our spreadsheet. Then looking at the expected test results, we can see a preview of our results. We can then accept the results from each variable or choose to accept all. Cleanup actions provide a way to revert back any editable variable that might have been altered back in the setup portion of the testing to a final value. Now click OK to save your validation setup. You will see the validation in the side menu. Click here to save the job validation set to the camera. Then click the play button to run the job validation under the validation tab. You will see which test pass or fail in this window. Job validation is now complete. Now we will navigate to the utilities window. Here we can click on system validation. System validation ensures that any changes to the system are flagged to maintain system integrity. Within this window, we will see the validation state of the system. We can also adjust settings on what could cause the system to become invalid. Please note that every time validation changes, it is logged in the system. Using the access account types such as admin, engineer, 
operator, and monitor, you can ensure that only the correct personnel have access to access or make changes to the system. For more detailed information on setting up job and system validation, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.